Minnesota Vikings at home Christmas Eve round one between them and the Detroit Lions, who are looking to throw the divisional knockout punch. <laughs> Lions looking to crown themselves Kings of the North this week. To do it, they must travel to enemy territory and dethrone the band of Vikings who currently control the region. But those guys better have some White Walkers on their side if they hope to slow the Detroit offensive barrage headed their way. Gets by Choosy Chool to the pylon! 19-yard touchdown pass by Goff to his celebrated rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. Vikings secondary squaring up with a Jared Goff who just went loonies against Denver's defense, put five on him week 15. Goff back and looking, looking, throwing middle, caught, gives, touchdown Detroit Lions! Two of them from a sock, three from the backpack. Aerial attack was almost perfect. Rush attack blew up for 185 yards, 6.6 .6 a run. Detroit hit an improved Denver defense for 42 points. Gives to Gibbs, left side, there he goes. 40 yard line, turns the corner to the 35, down to the 30, inside the 25. Lightning with a football in his hands. Now Goff faces a Minnesota secondary, entering after giving up over 320 yards and two TDs to Jake Browning, the second setting up overtime, a rating allowed near 100. Browning, looking, pressure, throws it deep. And the ball is caught by T. Higgins at the one-yard line. And it's actually called a touchdown. Now, it's not that Goff is facing a terrible secondary. Minnesota's holding quarterbacks under seven yards per attempt this year to a 90 rating. And Detroit's tackles have the QB Hunter, known as Daniil, to contend with. Minnesota had four sacks last week, Hunter nabbing two. He has 15 and a half now, four forced fumbles. That is a huge hit from Daniil Hunter right there. A guy that has been unbelievable this year. His name should be in the conversation for Defensive Player of the Year. Vikings pass rush, none blitz happier in the land. Goff, five INTs versus five plus this year, 90.5 rating, so not great. And Goff is picked up by Jalen Johnson. None of Minnesota's DBs have a sub-90 rating allowed in 2023, but the Vikings are holding wideouts to a 90 rating. That's respectable, at least. Now they take on one of the best there is, Amonra St. Brown, seven catches over 110 yards last week, a touchdown, seven triple-digit games for him this season. Rose middle, caught Amon Ra to the five, to the two, leaps and flips into the end zone. Are you kidding me? Oh, Amon Ra, that is beautiful. Josh Reynolds chipped in 41 yards last week. Jamison Williams splashed 47. And tight end Sam Laporta, three paint jobs in one game. He scored three of his last four now. Goff to the end zone. Touchdown. Third time to Laporta. He is putting on a show. Vikings pass defense is very generous to tight ends, so watch him. Rating allowed by Minnesota to Gronkheads is 105.1. And then there's the battle along the ground, and it's a big one. Minnesota holding running backs to 3.6 a carry. Only a few have been tougher on the position. Detroit's run game, one of the best there is, and it sets their table. It set up a feast versus Denver. David Montgomery, 85 yards, 5 per carry. Montgomery on first and 10 as he runs into the secondary. Jameer Gibbs, 100 yards, 9.1 a run, plus a score. Oh, like a rocket! There he goes! He gets around for 10! Into what? Breaks that tackle! Look at him! Making Detroit's offense one-dimensional would be big for Minnesota, but it won't be easy. Minnesota's offense looked better balanced as well. They don't always get a lot from their ground game, but Ty Chandler was a key to them even making it to OT last week. Over 130 rushing yards, 5.7 a carry, and a TD. Hand off to Chandler, spins, and he is in! Detroit's defense even tougher on backs than Minnesota's, though, holding them to 3.5 a carry for 2023. Their pass defense, typically where they're most susceptible, not last week at least, held Russell Wilson to a sub-90 rating. Russ, he's got him! Crow knocked down at the 5! What a play! Noah Fonwu with a terrific swat! Now they set their sights on Nick Mullins. He made a few mistakes against the Bengals, threw a couple INTs in his first 2023 start. But he's not down yet. He throws it up. It deflects off 
of B.J. Hill, and he able as the ball bounce around. That is an interception. But he doesn't come in ice cold. Over 300 yards, over 9 yards per attempt, two TDs, and a rating right under 100. Mullins looking down the middle of the field for Addison. He's got him inside Bengals territory. So Detroit secondary will get tested because 300-plus yards means all those Vikings pass catchers are threats. Justin Jefferson, the biggest threat, seven catches, 84 yards last week, fighting through injury. And it's a completion to Justin Jefferson, a gutty throw and catch to start the drive. Jordan Addison, over 110 yards, two TDs. Throws it off his back foot, caught! It's caught by Addison, he's gonna go all the way in for a touchdown! The Lions defense they face allowed a 98.3 rating to wide receivers this year, gave up 70 plus yards to Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy week 15. And caught by Sutton, bounces back up, then drilled on the side by Dorsey. Detroit hasn't been great against tight ends either, and now they take on their old buddy TJ Hawkinson, his most recent outing, 63 yards. Hawkinson goes up, almost like grabbing the rebound and gets the the first down. 1993, the last time Detroit took the North, Rodney Pete and some dude named Barry. He wasn't a hitman though. Is this the week or does Minnesota deliver the gift of hope to Skull Faithful? Light that comments section up like a Christmas tree. Panel of 10, light the screen up with scores. Merry football, everybody.